Hello Commanders, Commander Plazer here back with another really dangerous video and today I'm taking a look at some of the most useful third party tools available for Elite Dangerous. Of course this is going to be a subjective list and some of these tools will be PC exclusive and if I miss any that you think are really helpful leave a comment and let us know. I'm going to be including links to where to find all these different tools in the description. So the first tool I want to talk about is ED Engineer. Now this is only for PC players but this as the name suggests is absolutely fantastic for engineering. It allows you to pin multiple materials and blueprints and basically put yourself together a shopping list. So I'm going to give you guys an example here. I want, for example at the moment, heavy duty hull reinforcement. So I'm going to favourite this one here and then we're going to change this over so we are just looking at favourites and this is kind of important. So here as you can see this is what I'm going to need for it. So I can basically put myself together a shopping list which is pretty handy so I'll get rid of these previous ones that I had and we will go into your favorites so there we go favorites and we can click on this and we can just add it to my shopping list like this and say if I want 30 rolls which sounds kind of reasonable you can see down here at the bottom it knows I've got 28 core dynamic composites already I need 20 compound shielding and I'm going to need 20 tungsten as well and over here on this side it actually tells you where you get them from so combat ships, high security, and mission rewards, cool. Core dynamics, ship salvage, combat ships, pretty easy to get hold of that one. Tungsten and surface prospecting, yes, SRV driving. But you can pin multiple blueprints at the same time, as well as you can put yourself together a shopping list. There is also a audible notice when you actually hit it, and it tells you when your favorite blueprint is ready as well, which is kind of handy. So yep, yeah, ED Engineer, big fan of this. Again, link is in the description of where you can find this one. Inara.cz. This is a really handy website used for log keeping. It has information about engineers, other players, wings, and news. I personally use it for engineering more than anything, and in here you can find what different things are required based on which engineer you've got and which one unlocks the next one. You can also find like minded players, as you can see here, as well as markets. Find yourself a player group, always good. But just want to point out, it's not an Elite Dangerous dating site, but it's open to both console and PC players. Do recommend you set yourself up a profile on here and get involved, especially if you are looking for a player group. You'll get an invitation to one, no doubt, as they're always recruiting. But as you can see here, lots of information here and just general space stuff as well. In particular, this is one that will hear about uh, Eclipse glasses, which actually, you know what, could save your eyes. But yeah, huge amounts of stuff on here. Big fan of Anara. Spend a lot of time on it myself. Next up, we have Coriolis. This is another website and this helps you plan your build and outfitting before you actually have the ship. An example here is I'm looking at an adder, I can select a different ship in here, say for example a Beluga liner, and we can try out some different builds for it. So optional internals for example, we say okay right, what do we want to put in there? We could put anything we want in. So okay, definitely need a fuel scoop, so we put a 3A fuel scoop in there and it tells you a little bit about the ship as you go along. You can also enter in your engineering as well and that certainly does help. In 2.3, currently you can't import builds, but I have heard reports that in 2.4, the API will be repaired and you will be able to import your builds. And that's from in game, which is gonna be super handy. So if you wanna know what that maximum role looks like when you've amended your FSD, you're gonna be on for a winner. Here we have the Neutron Highway. This is essentially a way of planning on long distance journeys and this uses Neutron Stars in order to get you from one place to another on minimal numbers of jumps. Now the website itself is pretty simple to use, I'll give you an idea here, let's say if we start off in Seoul and we want to take ourselves over to let's say Sagittarius A because that's always a good place to head to and your jump range, for example I was in a DBX and I had a 55 light year jump range and then you click submit and so once it's calculated it will tell us the best way to get there and I use this to get back from Sagittarius A when I was there and as you can see here it tells you which one's got a neutron star and it will let you jump from one to one and as you can see it's all high jumps now you can change the efficiency and if you change the efficiency it does have some different effects on your plotting so say if I have a hundred hundred percent efficiency jump jump range um, this is not what you want to do by the way as you can see here it blocks it up into 1000 light year jumps or 1000 light year sections this is not what you want to be doing because it doesn't tell you if there's a neutron star, it doesn't really help you much. But I have found that if you drop the efficiency down, it does start to become a little bit more useful. 
So once this one loads up, so there you go. It gives you a bit of a better idea. So say from Sol, the first one we have to go to would be PSRJ17522806, and that's got a neutron star. And that'll take us, jump us that far, then we have to do another kind of jump, and then again, again, and so forth. And yeah, as I say, it gives you your full number of jumps that you're gonna need, and you actually end up in 20, 223, apparently, if you want to go from Sol to Sagittarius A on 80% efficiency. But this website is fantastic, it's Spanch, or Spanch.co.uk, so it's worth checking out, especially if you're an explorer and you decide you want to come home quickly. Pretty handy. Also, worth bearing in mind, Neutron Highway, you can use it for Colonia and all those types of things as well. The final tool I want to talk about is Edison Surface Navigation Tool. Now if you're like me and you find the whole process of going through planetary coordinates a bit of a nightmare, then this one is 100% for you. Now what I want to talk about with it is how it works, how to use it, I'm not going to give you a full detailed description how to set it up, there will be a link in the description of this video with another video telling you how to do that, and that's by the publisher of this particular tool, and this is, say, made by one person, and they're doing a fantastic job of updating it, giving advice and stuff like that of how to get it set up, so definitely go check it out. Now, as you can see, I've selected myself a latitude and longitude of 50, and I've input the planetary radius as well. Now that has been from the system map, so when you go into the system map, you can have a look at the planet. I'll give you guys a quick look at that there. So this is the planet we're on here, so you select it, you go to your details, and as you can see, I have put in the radius just there, and that's on the screen. Okay, so let's find ourselves our location. Now this works on OCR, which is essential the recognition of the text that's on the screen so it bases it all on that and it works on screenshots so you might have noticed there it just pops up and it says failure and now it's working again and that's because if you have the text over a planet it doesn't always work depending on the colors because the tolerances aren't quite there but that all depends on your setup and your HUD color but if you notice it tells me the heading that I need to go to so 46 percent sorry 46 degrees Okay, so, 46, there we are. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself another little screenshot here. Might have to do a couple to make sure it works. Because obviously the numbers change really quickly as well, so that can cause you some issues. And you notice know, so I'm almost bang on my target now, so I'm basically on top of it, so that's absolutely perfect. And that's how it works. Pretty simple, um, very, very simple tool. Definitely needs some refinement, as I've already mentioned, because sometimes it can cause you some issues with regards to setting it up, and it doesn't always recognize what you've input either. So it is worth bearing that in mind, but all in all, a pretty handy tool indeed. So these were my top third-party tools. As I mentioned before, the link's in the video description for all of these. If you use any of these tools, please let me know, and if there are any that I missed, again, share them in the comments. As usual, I want to thank you for watching, so please like, subscribe, turn on notifications, that's the bell icon next to the subscribe button that lets you know every time I put a new video out. Also, please consider becoming a patron, it's a great way to help support the channel and help me to provide you with good quality content. Once again, thank you for watching. Commander Plater, out.